Hi, my name is Brian Smith. In this video, I'm going to cover the new Red Hat Satellite 6.5 reporting engine, which allows satellite customers to create reports that can be exported. To access the reporting functionality, first log into the web interface in Satellite, then go up to the Monitor menu, and select Report Templates. Included with Satellite 6.5 are four pre-can reports that are provided by Red Hat that generate several reports in the Comma Separated Value, or CSV, format. These four reports that are included are the Applicable Errata Report, which shows errata that is applicable to content host, the Host Statuses Report, that shows status of your satellite host, the Registered Host Report, that shows information about your satellite host, such as IP address, OS version, subscriptions, etc., and also a subscription report which shows information about the subscriptions in, in use in your environment. If you'd like to generate a report, you simply go up to the Generate button next to the report and click on that. And then from here, you can optionally filter by host or errata if you want to narrow down the report. We're going to leave this blank so that everything is shown. And we'll go ahead and click on the Submit button. This will generate the report. We're going to go ahead and say Save File here. And then we're going to go find the file and rename it to have a .csv extension. We'll then open it up in LibreOffice and click OK to import the CSV. And we can now see information about applicable errata in the environment. We'll see, we see the host name and other errata information in here. All right, we'll go ahead and close that and go back to the web interface and go back to Report Templates. Now we're going to click on Generate for Registered Host. But this time we're going to go ahead and filter down the host. We're going to add in a filter of OS equals Red Hat and OS Major equals 8. This will show only RHEL 8 hosts in the report. We'll go ahead and click on Submit. And we'll go ahead and click on Save File. And again, we're going to go find that file and rename it to have a .csv extension. And then we're going to go ahead and open it up in LibreOffice and click OK. And you can see the only two hosts in this report are running RHEL 8, since that's how we set up the filter. All right, we'll go ahead and close this. Next, we'll talk about how to customize the included reports. It's recommended that you don't modify the existing reports, and they come locked uh, by default. If you'd like to modify one of the reports that's included, it's recommended that you first clone the report. In this example, we're going to edit the subscriptions report and add a, an additional column to show how many subscriptions are used. So to get started, we're going to go over to the drop-down and click on Clone. This will create a copy of the report, and we're going to rename it to Subscriptions Custom Report. All right, then we're going to scroll down. And as you can see, the report currently shows the number of available subscriptions and the quantity of total subscriptions. And what we're going to do is we're going to add an additional column to show the number of used subscriptions into this report. To do that, we'll add an additional line here, and we'll go ahead and type use. This will be the header for the column. And then for the data, we're going to say pool.quantity minus pool.available, and then we'll put a comma there. So this will add an additional column into the report to show the number of used subscriptions. We'll go ahead and click Submit, which will create the copy of the report. And you can see our new custom report is now listed there under Report Templates. To create a report from scratch, click on the Create Template button. And in this, in this example, we're going to create a report showing the Ansible roles in use by the satellite content host. So we're going to type uh, Ansible roles for the name of the report. And then down for the ERB code, I'm going to paste in some code I've prepared. In the code here, we're going to use the load host method. And we're going to have a input variable called host to optionally filter the hosts that are shown. And then for each host that's in the report, we'll show the all Ansible roles attribute. So since we have this host input filter defined, we need to go up and click on the inputs tab here and add an input. And we need to name this to match what was in the code. So we're going to put host for the name. And then we'll add a description that says filter by host and that it's optional. All right, we'll go ahead and go down and click submit to create the report. And now we'll go ahead and click on Generate to generate the report. We're going to leave the host uh, filter blank so that we just get a report of all the hosts. We'll go ahead and click Submit, and we'll save the file. 
Again, we'll go find the file and we're going to rename it to a .csv extension. And then we're going to open it in LibreOffice, click OK to import it. And we can now see the report showing the host names and the Ansible roles that they've been assigned. Next, we'll show an example of creating an HTML formatted report. The satellite reporting engine is very flexible and it's not limited to only CSV reports. In this example, we will create an HTML version of the host status report and format the output as an HTML table. To get started, we're going to create a clone of the host status report. So we'll go over to the drop down for this report and click on clone. And we're going to change the name to host statuses HTML. And down for the code, we're going to paste in some code that I prepared. A copy of this code will be available on a blog post on the satellite blog as well, if you want a copy of the code. We're going to define some CSS elements at the top. Then here we're going to create the table and define the headers for the table. And then here we're actually going to create the content of the tables and depending on the values we'll change the color to the CSS formatting for green, yellow, or red. And then we'll go ahead and close out the HTML table. All right, we'll go ahead and click Submit to create the report. And now we'll go ahead and click on the Generate button to generate the report. We can optionally filter. We're going to leave it blank to get all the host. We'll go ahead and click Submit. And we're going to save the file. We're going to go find the file. And this time we're going to rename it to have a .html file extension. And then we'll go ahead and open it with the Firefox web browser. And you can see the host status is information here is shown, but this time it's formatted in an HTML table that's viewable in a web browser. The HTML table is also color coded based on the setup we did with the CSS and the criteria we had set in the code for that. Next, we're going to look at how to generate reports from the command line. To do this, you use the hammer report dash template generate dash dash name and then the name of the report. In this example, we're going to generate the host statuses CS3 report from the command line. If we go and run that, the report is created and shown here on the screen. Next, we'll generate the HTML version of the report. The content of the generated report is shown on the console. The output can be redirected to a file, and it would also be possible to set up a cron job to run a shell script to generate the report and then email it out. Many email clients can render HTML output, which opens the possibility of automating HTML reports that are emailed out on a schedule and then rendered in the email client. I hope you get a chance to try out the new reporting engine in Red Hat Satellite 6.5. Thanks a lot for watching the video and have a great day.